What's going on, CCM Magazine family? I'm Christian Johnson. Thank you so much for tuning in again today. And of course, I have another great interview for all of you with none other than one of the most recognizable vo vocalists in the gospel industry right now, Ja'Kalen Carr. How are you doing today? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And uh, once again, thank you so much for being here. Um, you're definitely very busy, so I know your time is very precious, but I do appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, so... Like I said, you're definitely one of the uh, youngest and most powerful voices in the industry right now, and um, you've achieved much success, and you're only 25, right? 25? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So um, what has your journey been like up to this point? You know, you got into the in industry at a very young age, so um, yeah. as a young gospel artist, what, what has your journey been like so far? My journey has been beautiful. Um, I work along with my family. It's been like a li literally a family business um, and a family affair ever mm -hmm. since I got started. Uh, we have our own family record label, publishing company, all of that. And um, I'm an independent gospel recording artist, obviously. And to be able to see how God has just really blessed my ministry has just been an amazing thing to watch. I mean, who would have thought a little girl from West Memphis, Arkansas, in a little bit, little bitty, bitty, bitty house, <laughs> uh, singing to the grass as if the grass was my crowd. And now I'm singing to the masses. It's just been, it, God has been so good. I, I wow. have to give him glory. Yeah. Well, you brought up being an independent artist and for... Uh, the average listener out there don't quite understand the difference between being signed with a major label and then yeah. being an independent artist. Um, I was actually uh, talking with another artist about that who recently went independent and um, mm -hmm. he talked about some of the struggles and the fights he've had to go through uh, just even with that. So um, what are some of the differences or why have you decided to remain independent rather than signing with a, you know, a, a more recognizable uh label? Well, first and foremost, this is the the journey. This is the path that God chose for us. Mm -hmm. um, and my dad, he would tell you the story, you know, how he would try to get me signed on major labels, but nobody, obviously, because I started out very young in the industry, right, as right. you see. Number one, people wasn't taking um, kids serious mm -hmm. at that time. And also, um, I believe I honestly believe God shut those doors so that we could walk the path that he wanted us to, which was independent. Um, now, we had to obviously work harder. Um, there were nights that I would literally see my dad up all night long, you know, getting work done and just sacrificing, putting the time in, however it's paying off, you know. And, and I would like to tell because some people feel like, you know, um, it's bad to be signed to a major record label. It's not, um, as long as you have your business straight. Uh, I just say, just choose the path that God has for you. If that is your path, then walk that path. If independent is that, then walk it. Either way it goes, he has you covered. Mm, I think that's great. Um, Cause you're talking about the fight and uh, talk about pushing. And a lot of times when things don't come easy, sometimes we yeah. take that as a sign from God, like, oh, well this ain't for you. But, um, exactly. but that's not exactly. always the case. Right. Um, literally. <laughs> so my song Greater is Coming is literally our testimony. We went through our shaking, beating and depressing. And there were times that we felt like, well, maybe this is not where God wants us to be. But then God has to say, I never told you it was going to come like this. I never told you that it was going to be easy for you. Mm -hmm. Let me prepare for it because once you get to where I want you to be I want you to stay there and a lot of times you know some people forfeit their greater because they don't want to be processed for it they don't want to be you know have to endure through the challenges and things that comes with the path that God has for us but I tell people all the time he's not going to put you through some he hadn't equipped you to come out of it's only for a moment he's only getting you ready he's only making sure you prepare for what he's getting ready to to usher you in two and you better believe it is good now you i know you ain't just gonna come up in here and drop a word like that just <laughs> just <laughs> sit there and start pouring into everybody wow <laughs> that is so powerful um and you mentioned your song greater um uh is coming and you actually have like a lot of hits you know which is not is not common you know uh it's, <laughs> especially for independent artists or just any artist in general um to be able to make consistently great music so what would you say your process is on seeking God for what songs to record or um, songs that you may write or songs that you may take from other people? How does that process work for you? 
So all of our writing is in-house. And one of the things that we are very big on, and some people call it deep, it is what it is. Um, but we're very big on knowing the language of heaven in each season that we are in. Um, I, I honestly believe that God knows what his people needs. Mm -hmm. And the biggest, the biggest um perk that I have with what I do is being able to consult with the father on what it is that he wants me to release. And literally for, I hadn't released any music. Um, like I think it's been like two years, maybe mm -hmm. three or four years when, especially when it comes to albums. Um, and God literally will have me silent until he tells me what to release and when to release. And so that's how God has consistently been blessing my music. Um, and then too, for me, I, I'm all about substance because substance gives you longevity. And anytime it comes mm. from heaven, you there. Um, and then even for example, um, it's yours. Uh, that is literally one of the songs I can't go anywhere without singing. Right. And yeah. so working that song at my we actually pulled back off of that song so we had nobody working in our radio but god literally took that song all the way to number one and it was number one for nine whole weeks just straight like straight through nobody working it but angels were working it yeah. um and yeah. so but you know again it's just being able to know what god wants me to release in each season um, because that's very important to me. I could release music whenever I want to around the clock, but that's not what my 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 grace is. I mm. operate in my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you operate very well, um, like I said, because you've definitely achieved much success at a young young age. Thank you. Um uh, Thank and, you. and uh a lot of people love you. Everybody out here talk about you. They uh they they love what you do and love your spirit and your um passion behind it because I think especially for this generation to see young people stand up uh for the kingdom uh yeah. is, is something that is very important very vital um yeah. and uh, I, when I think of people like you I think of people like Kalante Gavin you know um who are out there being honest about their walk with Christ and 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 showing that you can still be cool you can still have fun but you don't have to do the same things that the world does and I, I just want to say I appreciate you for that yeah. thank you thank you so much <laughs> So once again, now talking about you being young, um, I actually came across a video not too long ago. I saw a young girl singing and um, it was actually a news story. And I was very impressed with like her vocal control. It wasn't until I went to the comment section that I realized it was you. Uh, uh, it, was, it was, everybody's like, this is Ja'Kayla Carr. Oh my gosh, I listen to her now. And so just to see the transition from then to now is so amazing. And um, I think you already touched on what I was going to ask you about, but you know, the whole family um, structure there. Um, you were definitely reared in a, a very mighty way and God has had his hand on you at, at, all this time. So what has it been for you? I, you? You did talk about it a little bit, but from that young girl to now where you are and even what you're planning on doing in the future, you know, what would you say to her now um, if, if you are, if you only knew what was about to take place? Oh, yes. I was literally about to say that. I was <laughs> going, I would say, hold on to what you have. Hold on to what you have. Because literally before you know it, it's about to become what bigger than what you dreamt. Mm. Um, I would say keep fighting, keep pushing, keep protecting your anointing. You know, keep surrounding yourself with people that can pull the best out of you because it's going to pay off, not just in the long run, but also right now. So, mm. yeah, that's definitely what I would say. Oh, that's awesome. Well, not only with the music stuff, but you've also had recently had a chance to be a judge on How Sweet the Sound. Uh, yeah. The How Sweet the Sound competition. I was actually there. Um, I was in Greenville <laughs> during that time. So um, what was that experience like for you to be able to judge and, um, you know, see what other people are doing and see some folks that are uh, possibly trying to get their name out into the gospel industry? You know, what, what was that opportunity like for you? It was beautiful. Um, and they actually invited me back this year. So I'll be okay. back doing it this year. But it was it was so great, you know. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be in a position to help further other people. You know, what I, you know, like when God does something for you, you're supposed to reach back and help the next person. You know what I mean? Even if it means encouraging them, you know, giving them uh, things that you learn along your journey, mm. uh, because you'd be surprised of how many people don't have that. 
how many people ran into so many um, bad uh, situations because they they didn't have the proper training, the proper teaching. And so just to be there to encourage them and to say, hey, this is what you do. This is what you don't do. Right. I think it was a beautiful thing. And I loved being a part of that. And also to just see the wide ranges of the gifts and the talents because they made it um, open it up to where it's not just choirs. It was also right. dancers, yep. solo. So it was beautiful. Yeah, well, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, and like I said, I'm excited to see you do it again uh, this coming year. So that's awesome for you. Um, Thank you. But um, outside of music, you also are becoming an entrepreneur. So you have uh, the Jacqueline Beauty and you also have yes. uh, the Jacqueline Collection. So um, that's that's different as well. That's nothing that everybody's doing. Uh, so what what was in your heart to do that? I've always loved all things beauty, right? Um, makeup, hair, all of it. I would go to my aunt's, my grandmother's house. I'd be in their heels, all their makeup, <laughs> all of that, the fragrance, everything. And so I knew eventually um, I would have my own beauty company. I'm just all about doing it in the right timing. Um, my life has so much many layers and so um being able to launch my beauty company was just another layer that God added to my first product that I released was my fragrances Jacqueline for her and mm -hmm. for her. and I sold out twice and just kept building from there and last year I released my uh, skincare line my hair care line and it's just going high higher and higher and I'm just excited to be able to um you know offer another side of Jacqueline to the world without having to compromise my values mm. and my faith it is possible especially when you do it with God <laughs> wow well <laughs> well I just wanted to ask you about that because uh, when I told my mom I was going to get a chance to talk with you she said well make sure you ask where she get her clothes from because she always dressed so nice <laughs> so people love <laughs> the way that you present yourself. And once again, I think that's just awesome, especially in this day and time. So thank uh. you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, my ultimate goal is to just start show people, first of all, we serve the king, the king right. of kings. And so whoever or whatever he is, our lives is supposed to resemble that. Mm. And he wants us to look like we are children of the king. And so I think, again, it is very possible for us to do it in a classy way, in a, you know, modest way without um, offending God and all mm. of that. He, want, he wants us to look good. Jesus in fashion looks amazing. <laughs> I like that. Jesus in fashion. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So um, you, you already been dropping a lot of nuggets here. So you, you kind of gave me a little <laughs> conference for free already. But um, uh, you actually <laughs> you got a conference coming up. So uh, tell us about that conference. Uh, what are we to expect about it? And how can people make sure they're there? Yeah, so my conference is You Will Win. Actually, prior to the um, pandemic, I did my conference, which was an extension of, of course, my book, You Will Win, my song, You Will Win, and God gave the vision to actually make it into a conference. Mm -hmm. And my last before the a pandemic was Lando and it was amazing. Um, and even during the pandemic, I offered um, uh, online, you know, classes and still did it like that just to keep people pushing and to keep going. And now we are back, you know, live in person. This year is going to be in the ATL. I'm so excited. You can log on to youwillwin.org for more information. But yes, it's going to be amazing. I'm excited to see what God is doing. And the ultimate goal is to be able to give you information that can help you thrive in every area of your life. Mm -hmm. I've been saying years, I do not believe that God wants us to thrive in one area and we're failing in the rest. No, mm -hmm. he wants business to thrive, your relationships to thrive, your children, everything. And so that's what my conference offers. Um, it's not, not just about music. It's not just about, no, every area. That's what we want to see you thriving, thriving in. So yeah, you will win. It's coming to Atlanta. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. That's awesome. I'm, I'm going to try my best to make sure I'm there. So Thank once you. you drop them dates, I'm going to make sure I, I try to give me a ticket. It'll uh, be in June. Like it'll be in June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, you can log on to youwillwin.org and everything um, you need to know about it is, gonna, is on there. Okay, awesome. Well, thank mm -hmm. you for that. So um, you actually have also had the chance to kind of step into the CCM world a little bit. Um, you were actually mm -hmm. able to make the song New Day with Blanca. Yeah. Um, how yeah. was that? The video came out really good. So I enjoyed the yeah. video. 
it was so fun. Uh, she hit up my team um, and wanted me to be a part of the song. And then when I heard it immediately, I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, this is it. <laughs> and so um, I went in there and I asked her, because I always ask people, you know, when they want me to collaborate and if I'm able to, um, I always ask them, how much of me do you want me to put in it? Like, yeah. you know, how <laughs> As we all know, uh, because I like to be respectful. Of, of right, people. right. It was just like, just do you. And it was just fun being on the song and, and recording the the video was just even more fun. Like, that's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, because um, I, I got to talk with her about the song as well. And I told her the same story. Way I first heard that song was I was here at the studio and another mm -hmm. producer here was working on a promo. And I mm -hmm. heard that song and I was like, what is that? Like, where is that coming from? I went in there and found out what that song was. And I was like, oh, that's Ja'Kayla. And I said, that's what caught my ear. I was like, okay. So yeah, you definitely put you on there. So we appreciate that. That Thank you so I work, much. I go to the gym and I work out to that song because it just it's just a great way to start the, start your morning. It's, <laughs> you. really is. it's funny you said that because I literally get tagged all the time and people at the gym yeah. um, <laughs> working out to it. People literally waking up into yeah. my song. It's a new day, fresh out of the bed. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. That that's one of my favorites as well. That's awesome. Okay, so cool. So you got new day, and now we have your latest song out, and you just released a music video for that as well. I believe God. So, um, tell me a little bit about that song. What's the um, message behind the song, and where did, where did it come from? I believe God is so near and dear to my heart, simply because. I want people to experience this Jesus that I talk about, that we sing about, that we read about. What we got to understand is there is no expiration date to the miraculous power of God. Mm. The same God who was performing then is the same God who can perform now. God is literally, he has so many people in the position where all they can do is believe him. All they can trust him. One of my favorite scriptures is, these signs shall follow them who believe. Mm. All God asks for was our belief. And he's going to provide the sign. So whatever it is, I don't care how intense it is. If God answered by fire, if he answered by rain, he can answer you by restoration. He can mm. answer you. He can answer you by promotion, whatever it is that you need, but you just got to believe God. And that's what this song is about. Wow. Wow. Well, I already, I've already checked it out and um, it, it was awesome. Um, and it's very encouraging. And that's what I can say about all your songs. Um, they, they, they encourage people in some type of way. Um, and uh, everybody's music doesn't do that all the time. So I appreciate you for that. Um, it peaks people Thank up you. in their lowest moments. Um, Amen. So, uh, now, where can everybody follow you, of course? Where, where can everybody check yeah. you out? You can follow me on all of my social media. I made it very easy for y'all. At J.K. Car, J-E-K-A-L-Y-N, with the blue check mark. If it doesn't have the blue check mark, it is not me. Amen, somebody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's at J.K. Car. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. All right, so I did forget to ask you one more question. All right. Mm -hmm. So what everybody needs to know is, you know, when you're getting prepped for a show or you've just done a show, what is your go-to snack that you have to My, have? Oh, Smart Foods, white cheddar popcorn, and a Coke Zero. Mm. Gee. <laughs> just, hey. When I tell you, it's by every time, every time. <laughs> so you said, what kind of, is cheddar popcorn by who? White cheddar popcorn in the black bag. I mm -hmm. think it's Smart Okay, I'll have to try it. I'll try it. In the black bag, uh, white cheddar, popcorn, and then, of course, Coke Zero. That's the old, that right there, that little combination right there. Okay. <laughs> so, look, so everybody, if you ever bring Ja'Kayla to your church or to your city, yeah. make sure you have yeah. that for her. So, yeah. and she will love you forever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Once again, Ja'Kayla, thank you so much for being here today. And um, we look forward to one day having you back again. You're so welcome, and thank you for always having me, and thank you for your support as well. Absolutely. Um, you know, social media, all that good stuff, it really does my heart well to see your support, so thank you.